This is question number 25 on the TN Ready Math Practice Test. We're in subpart 3, which means calculators are allowed. I have no idea why you would use one on this one, but you could, I suppose. Graph the point 3, 7 on the falling coordinate grid. They were super nice, and they told you what the x-axis the is and the y-axis, so that should make things go super easy. So again, remember to put your coordinate points, x goes before y, just like alphabetical order. x, y, z. Z is actually the third dimension if it came out like this and had depth, but it doesn't. It's two dimensions here. So that means my x, I go to 3 on the... Really what I'm looking for when I have a coordinate is the point where the two values will meet if I extend them out. So for the x value, I have 3 here. So I'm going to go 3, 4. from here. And then for the y value, I'm looking at 7, right there. And then my final answer would be the point in which they intersect. And then I could kind of erase my little highlighters a little bit. And I'll put the point back, don't worry. 3, 7, make a dot. And that's it. So just remember... If you want to put the X and Y, hopefully not looking that bad. I can accept a lot of lousy handwriting, but not as bad as that. If you want to put X, Y over top of it to remind yourself, do go to the X axis first, go over to the value, and then go up from that. So start at 0, 0, go over to the 3, and then go up to the 7. So go to the X, move up to the Y value that matches it, and then find the point in which these two lines that you create intersect, and you're ready to go. So that's question number 25.